Hey everybody, how's it going? Mike from the Focus Garage here, and today we are going to be trying something new. We're going to be starting off with a gaming video in a game that I have been addicted to recently called Beam NG Drive. Now, a lot of you may have seen this game before, have been interested in it, and uh, we're going to go ahead and give it a go right now. What this game pretty much is, is an open world sandbox game where you can do pretty much anything you want and I mean anything from just free roam and cruising streets to doing the absolute dumbest stuff possible so I've built ourselves a nice little diesel adventure van right now so you can see right here it's got uh, all kinds of you know literally anything you can imagine so we can switch it from you know all-wheel drive to just real drive only we've got a transfer case and a range box from high range to low range but the coolest thing about this game is well one I just dumped the clutch there is gonna be the crash model damaging so you can see here what we're gonna do is we're gonna slow this down to eight times slower than real time and we're just gonna show you what happens here so as we're going into this here we got about 50 miles an hour and actually the van took that pretty good there we'll go ahead and move it back up to regular real time it's still running which is pretty cool back it up there so it moves it, our radiator's leaking the wheel's been pushed back insanely far look at that so we don't have much steering or anything up oh, we just lost all of our uh, front axle there half shaft broken axle broken but I just want to show you here we'll go ahead and crash it into whatever and now we're pretty much screwed there so I'm gonna go ahead and rewind it just to put it back on the road here but Without going, we'll turn off the motor here. Without going too into everything, the neatest thing about this game is you can customize any car, any truck, and do absolutely anything you want with it. So you can see right here, you can go and change anything about it from the type of exhaust that it has to the engine, to the different kind of engine management, the type of the block it has, the type of turbo it has, whether you've got a gasoline, a diesel, you know, different accessories on the van, if you want to put a lift kit on it, if you want to slam it on the ground. Anything like that that you've ever wanted to do, you can go ahead and do that in this game. So one of the neatest things about that being how you can highly customize any car you want and do anything you want with it. You can see here all these vehicles have insanely different variables. You can go from everything from a gravel vehicle to a police vehicle to a base model uh, pedestrian vehicle with hubcaps. And you can even save your own setups here. So I'll replace this and I'll load in a car that I've actually made before that's got a dual clutch transmission and it's uh, a little bit wild and everything like that. So I'll go ahead and save and load. Uh, rally spec fast. Clearly I'm super creative with it here. Um, so we've got a car with a sequential transmission. It's kind of got like a, some rally heritage to it here. Uh, you'll see. I'm playing with a controller, not a wheel setup, but you can hear the kind of the crackles with the exhaust and everything like that. And again, like that is the craziest thing about this game is you could just smash into stuff and it never gets old. Another cool thing to do with this game too is like I was saying, the way you can change the weather, you can change the time of day, temperature, everything like that. But it's really neat to slow it down here, like something like this, and do a launch control. So we've got it eight times slower than reality. We'll do this and just clutch it up so you can watch the all-wheel drive do its thing. The car kind of hooks and bogs a little bit there and you can just... some hot boy shit smash into a wall there I mean it, it's absolutely crazy it, it's so much fun and you can tow stuff in this game you can drive diesel 18 wheelers I literally don't even know what I want to show you guys in this game here other than just kind of my first foray and attempt into gaming videos look at that just it's uh, the Oh, it can actually turn back on. If it can move, that'd be a miracle. It looks like we're uh, front-wheel drive now, but I mean, I think there's a little bit of frame damage with that. But the most crazy thing about this game is that it never gets boring because you can sit here and create your own scenarios. Like right now, if I want to go ahead and add traffic into this world, I could go ahead and do so. Um, and I'll do that just to kind of show you how it interacts there. So we go into AI, turn on traffic, We'll go ahead and spawn normal traffic and give it a moment here. Oh god, there's cars everywhere. So we're going to go ahead and put the vehicle in uh, 
We'll do sport mode with it here. And I think this guy might hit me if I don't get out of his way. So, so now we've got traffic. And you can actually program the AI what to do. So if you want to have them chase you, you can have them do that. If you want to have them run away from you, you can do that. You can have police turned on if you want. I mean, it's it's absolutely insane. Like, you can have this game be as realistic as you want. You know, you could do different kind of crash testing and seeing, you know, what's drivable, what's not. If you want to go through little dirt rally stages here, just, you know, right off the course. Uh, this is a little little in-depth for this vehicle here. I don't think uh, it's going to handle it too well right now with its current slam suspension and uh, street tires. But, again, you can do rock crawling. They have uh, similar vehicles to Jeeps with locking diffs and everything like that. Yeah, we're just wrecking ourselves here. But you can see on the left-hand side map there, you know, you've kind of got the uh, off-road realm. This, this is bad. <laughs> this is bad. Uh, I think I picked the wrong vehicle for the... Oh, we're sliding. Picked the wrong vehicle for this journey. So hopping right back along into the ridiculousness of things here. It's telling you you've got all kinds of vehicles. Right here you can see we've got a beetle replica kind of turned into a uh, Baja buggy. So this will be a little bit more uh, off-road capable than the vehicle I was just driving if we wanted to see how this does off-road. Clearly this isn't the best on-road vehicle. But we got little push bars here, so I'll show you kind of what that looks like. We'll just give this guy a little tap. You know, we got some kind of holdup in the road here. Not really sure what it is, but... Clearly this car took a beating. Another neat thing about this game is you've got, you know, fully functioning signals. You can see that. We can go ahead and, uh turn the lights on if you want to. You've got high beams, you've got low beams, you can turn on fog lights, your horn works. And this game, as you can obviously get a feeling for, has extensive mods that you can add into it. So if you wanted to add actual vehicles that people have ported from other games, since every vehicle in this game is an unlicensed vehicle, which a lot of them do resemble other vehicles, you can go ahead and do that as well. So you've got literally the flexibility of an open world playground. There's maps you can download. Oh, <laughs> that dude ripped my tire away. Uh, there, there's maps you can download that resemble real cities. Right now we're in East Coast USA, which is I think supposed to be like a Pennsylvania kind of uh, suburban area. Uh, you know, there's water uh, closer to the coast. You've got East Coast, West Coast, you know, Vegas. You've got real racing tracks. Uh, there's somebody that's actually ported a map from Grand Theft Auto onto this. I mean, it's absolutely insane. This is something that I didn't know existed till more recently, and it's all of my craziest, look at that, because of the external roll cage, I can kind of uh, keep turning. Oh, <laughs> I'd be remiss to not talk about one of the coolest things about the game here. So you can click and drag nodes on the car, right? And I can just whip this thing around, flip it right side up, or if I want to see kind of what the hood does here, smack that around. Oh, I don't, I don't like this uh, headlight anymore. We'll go ahead and take that, rip that out of the car. Look at that. I just got it dragging here. Just let go of it. And again, everything can be interactive with. So I just threw that on the ground. And I could run it over. You know, a little broken glass. I could pop tires. But I didn't know this game existed until more recently. And it's been around for a long time. And as far as I'm aware, it's gone through a lot of changes and updates that have made the game better and more enjoyable for people. So now there's things where, like, the water is modeled better. You've got kind of more realism when you're off-road with the dirt and everything like that. It's just improving to a point where you can build these made-up scenarios and do whatever you want with them. Like, oh, we want to just kind of see what happens here. Clearly, it's not going to be great. If it still drives at the bottom of this, that would be insane. Look at that. We're just we're just ripping down the hill here. <laughs> so here, check this out. We're going to turn off the motor as we hop into the water here. And we are quickly sinking. Try and get the vehicle uh, upright. Boom. So right now we're underwater. Obviously, if you turn it on, check the top left there. It's flooding. It's flooding. If I floor it, we're hydro locked and that's it. It's done. It's not going to come out of the water unless I go ahead and recover it out of the water. But the reason we're doing this right now is because it's winter, it's cold outside, and I have been enjoying playing this game a ton. One of the things I love to do with it is kind of build my own crash scenarios. So let me get one of those set up for you guys real quick, and I'll show you what that looks like before we go ahead and close this one out here. 
So before we crash this car, I want to show you kind of some of the customization that you can do in this game because it's absolutely insane to me. So I want to go with a base model car and kind of turn it into a sleeper. So we've got this car, which is obviously a Civic hatchback, and we're going to go ahead and take this. We'll go for the 1.5 manual transmission, hubcaps, everything like that. We'll go ahead and replace the car that we've currently got here. So here's what we've got, you know, just kind of your stripper spec here. And I want to have this be a high revving little Honda boy motor. So we're going to go into vehicle configuration. And we're just going to do the engine, and we're going to crash this bad boy. So um, there are, like I said, mods. You can see here I've imported a VTEC engine. Uh, but for the realism of the game, we're going to stick to what we've got built into the game. So we've got a 2.0 dual overhead cam motor. Put that in there. We want an adjustable ECU, obviously. High performance long block, obviously. Engine mounts. Heavy duty engine mounts. Exhaust. you got to hear that. So we want a race exhaust. We'll go ahead and put nitrous on it. Intake. Boosted. Exhaust downpipe, you can have a hood exit if you want to be real ignorant. We're actually going to do that. You can tell here the traffic behind me is getting real mad. So if I want to remove my hood so you can see that hood exit, let's do that empty. Oh, yeah, that's what we're talking about. So we got a boosted 2.0, uh, the cone filter, hood exit there. And we did the adjustable ECU, so check this out. You can play with the rev limit. So 6,500, come on, that's nothing. We're going to turn it up to 72. Traffic's getting real mad at me. And let's make a modest, I don't know. 25 uh, and a half PSI. So we'll do that. Got to make sure I've got a good transmission in here and a good clutch that can handle it. Otherwise, you're going to be running into issues with that also. So we got the four speed manual. Let's do the race six speed manual with a light and flywheel. Um, make sure we got enough nitrous here. We got a 10 pound bottle with a 50 shot. We'll go ahead and uh, enable that here as well. So let's be uh, nitrous in third gear at 4,000 RPM. It's going to blow the tires off this thing. I've set up a roadblock down there for us. And that's going to be kind of uh, what ends this for us here. Oh, those flames out the hood are ignorant. All right. So here's what we're going to do. It's got launch control, as you can see. Oh my gosh. So my favorite thing here, we're going to pause it, slow it down, get a better shot here of this thing just going full send. What do we got? About 90 miles an hour into what we've got in front of us here. Just spinning the wheels, shooting fireballs into our roadblock. Oh! <laughs> Now the best thing to look at this, uh, just the damage modeling is absolutely insane here. So the front end's crunched pretty bad, windshield's bad, we lost a tail light, bumpers are off, traffic is pissed off at us, but it still moves. Steering's a little compromised, then we got some problems here, I think we are, we're one wheel drive. So you can put obviously a locking diff or a uh, LSD, I didn't do that, so the frame's all twisted, I went off the road there and only one wheel was spinning. Thing still moves. It's only spinning one wheel at this point and you can tell it it's crunched bad but it's insane like <laughs> it's hilarious but we've got this little like i said stripper spec car which is an insane amount of power you can do the inside view here if you want it's useless again i could put better suspension on it better wheels better tires but i just wanted to show you how you can put you know a little hot rotted engine into our more normal car and enjoy it that way too. Oh man, this game is awesome. So basically I just wanted to give you an intro to BeamNG to show you what's possible to do in this game. I only did one map. I only kind of smashed a few cars and did a small variety of vehicles. Nothing crazy. You can see our hubcaps off here, everything like that. But what I want to do is bring you guys more content from this game because it is an absolute blast of a game to play. I have spent countless hours in this game just doing the dumbest stuff, building these dumb we're dragging something here. Oh, we're, yeah. <laughs> uh, making up scenarios, rock crawling, racing. There's drag racing. I'm telling you, if you can think of it in this game, you can probably do it. So let's see. I should be able to switch to that guy that I just absolutely obliterated. Look at that. And now we have him here. So we're going to turn his car back on. It does start. Oh, and it drives because it's front wheel drive. Got a nice little automatic trans here, driving it down the road. Definitely let me know what you want to see me do in BeamNG here. 
the game's wild. Uh, I'm down to do mods. I'm down to build certain scenarios. I'm down to build certain cars in it here. And if you just kind of want to see what this game offers as far as cars go, uh, check this out here. Um, we've got everything from like kind of an X5 uh, SUV here where you can make it more of the M trim. Um, just check it out, you know, pause the video here. Let me know what cars you'd like to see. This is just some of the stuff that I've got. Um, here's some objects, you know, you've got trailers you can put stuff in, uh, concrete walls, hay bales, I mean, cannons, ramps, rollers, you name it, pianos, it's, it's in this game. It's, you know, I can put a flatbed trailer, tow it up to an 18-wheeler here. If you want to have like a Mad Max death 18-wheeler, you've got that. We've got cement trucks, flatbed tow trucks. It's all in this game, and it is an absolute blast. I'm telling you, it's so much fun. It's available on Steam. It's not very expensive, and it is endless hours of entertainment. Um, I'm going to close this one out here just with a little Drift Boy spec car here. Again, it's got it all. Like if you want to have rear-wheel drive, front-wheel drive, whatever. Here, let's see here. We'll do a... Uh... And the funny thing is, too, you can do clutch kicks. If you've got a car with a radiator that's not high-powered enough, you'll have problems with uh, overheating. Best part is, though, is this realism again. This flip-up headlights, bam, we got them on now. A little tail happy. We'll spin this bad boy around here. It, it's, it's crazy. Like, I, I don't even have direction of what I want to do with this right now because I don't know how you show BeamNG to somebody that's never heard of it before or never seen it because there is just so much you can do. And I want to showcase that to you guys because I love playing driving sims. And this isn't even a driving sim. This is like a real-life modeling game with crash physics. And it's just, it's wild. <laughs> that's the best way I would describe it to somebody who doesn't know what they're talking about. So that's going to sum it up for this one. This is Mike from the Focus Garage signing off, and I will catch you guys in the next video, hopefully with some more BeamNG if you guys like it. Ended up with a nice little burnout here. Your tires will pop. Your engine will get hot. We're just bashing limiter here. Clearly this is more of a little uh, built engine that's ready for abuse like this. Oh, it's great, man. <laughs> All right, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next video. All right, there we go. We finally popped the tire. <laughs> That's what I wanted to send this one off on. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one.